What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you the Displacer Beast uh, series and it's going to be kind of a one shot. Um, normally I like to break my videos into three parts but with the Displacer Beast here um, there's not really um, a need for three parts. Um, the Displacer Beast it is a pretty cool monster out of the monster manual. And the reason why this is going to be pretty much a one shot is because really with the Displacer Beast, uh, the Displacer Beast is essentially a Black Panther that's certainly got some supernatural things going on with him. Six legs, um, as you can see, obviously the two tentacles that are rising out of his back, kind of ending in these like kind of suctiony, mouthy um, type of protrusions here. So primed them in black already, so that's really gonna serve as our base coat. So we're gonna be applying some mid-tones and uh, some max highlights. And I also wanna add a little bit of object source lighting just to give it a little bit of character, make it seem like maybe he's standing next to um, you know, some some glowing light source, you know, maybe fire. We'll see, but before we get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. Let's get going. All right, so to get started here, I have mixed some heavy blue-gray with black. And I am going to be giving our displacer beast a kind of a mid-tone on his muscles There we go. I'm gonna repeat that process all up on the on the rest of his muscles here. So this, this creature very is very muscular. Um, you know, like any big cat that's a successful hunter really would be. Just picking out the upper areas of the muscles. All right, so we've got it all over the muscles. Probably easier to see on this side. And again, it's very subtle, but contrasted with the black undertone there, you can you can definitely see where the where the coat went on. Went straight down the tail, pretty much left the bottom of the tail black, and that's gonna help. 
emphasizing the, the curvature of the tail. Now I'm gonna take this same coat and I'm gonna do the same thing with the Displacer Beast tentacles. I'm gonna be painting pretty much the upper three quarters. one of her protrusions right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other. I'm gonna do some experimentation with some color in here. Uh, I'm gonna take some heavy blue-gray. Like I've been using a little bit of dark Prussian blue from the Vallejo model color series and I'm going to be adding in a little bit of black to kind of hold true to the uh, the undercoat of a displacer beast which is essentially a um, you know modeled after a a black panther so Take a little bit of this mixture and play around a little bit with it. Kind of add a little hint of tone to the figure here. making sure it's nice and diluted. I want to give kind of the impression that, you know, it's kind of in the magical looking light of the Fey Wild there. Kind of cold tones going on over on this side.
picking my spots here as well. You'll notice I left some spaces dark and we'll fill those spaces in with um, a darker color. Placer Beast in the moonlight right there. At least that's what I'm trying to go for. The darker portions um, and the gaps between these moonlight highlights. I'm using some Luftwaffe uniform. with uh, just a touch of the dark Prussian blue, which I used before. the transition along just a little bit there it kind of gives the impression that moonlight's shining on our guy like I said so now what I'd like to do is go back to that original Prussian blue and give it a little bit more heavy blue gray and definitely lean more on the heavy blue gray side of things here and with this mixture, I'm going to pick my spots where I think the light will be most evident. So just like the upper folds of the muscles. Pretty neat. Last order of business for me on this side, at least for now, is to pop just a um, block out his eye here. So the eye is very small, as you can see, but I'm just going to block it out. Now we're going to go ahead and move into the other side. So full disclaimer, disregard the blotchiness. I was blocking out some stuff, just experimenting and found that they didn't really work out too well. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going in with um, a mix. On this side, I want it to look as though um, the Displacer Beast is kind of standing over maybe like a chasm of like a fiery chasm or something like that. So I definitely want to add some um, object source lighting here to make it look like he is uh, doing that. And I want it to look like the fire is coming kind of from 
this side. So what I have is a mix of heavy sienna, um, rust monster, which is kind of like a like a burnt orange, and I have dragon fire red. Mix them all together. I've got them pretty diluted pretty well so that I don't lose any of the I don't want them to be entirely opaque and I want the emphasis of this to be kind of more the contrast there. base coat done for this. I like to try a little rust monster by itself. See how that looks.
let that dry a little bit. And while that is drying, I'm gonna go back to my um, or my glaze that I just had with um, the I don't the Luftwaffe, the Luftwaffe, the Luftwaffe blue. Um, which is a little more of a purple, in, in my opinion. But I'm going to take that, and I am going to go back in with my glaze on the other side here. Add a little bit of that Prussian blue to it, the dark Prussian blue. Go in with this glaze while I'm waiting on my fiery side to kind of set in. And I'm going to go in just a little glaze. To try and help blend colors on this side together a little bit more, make it a little bit more seamless. So now I'm going to take a little Fire Newt orange, which is really more of a yellow. It's kind of like a burnt, like a burnt yellow. I'm going to pop just a smidge, and I mean a smidge, of Rust Monster into this mixture here. to some of the areas that I really want to emphasize.
and similar to how I did the eye on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and block out the eye on this side. All right, so similar to how I use the um, Luft Waffa um, glaze on the Moonlight side, I'm gonna look to do the same, or have a similar effect on, <clears throat> on this side of the model. So I'm going to scrounge some, uh, some colors together, see what I can come up with. So the glaze I've made here is a mixture of Heavy Sienna, um, <clears throat> Red from the Vallejo model color line, it's a plain red, a little black, and a little bit of Rust Monster. My hope for this is that it kind of helps to blend the colors all together. You know, it's a very, very diluted mixture. So while that's drying, I do want to see if I could add a little bit of one final highlight on this side. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of sky blue. I'm going to shake it up there. I'm going to do the same thing over on this side, only with the Fire Newt orange. So we effectively have a cool side and a, um, and a warm.
arm side. Go in on his little protrusions here with some minotaur hide. Go into his base here. On his base, I'm going to go with a little bit of heavy gray mixed with some of the Luftwaffe uh, German uniform. Should be just about ready to finish them up. I'm going to be giving this a couple of different washes. On the moonlight side, I'm going to be going with some uh, nightshade, some Darkenhoff nightshade from Citadel, which is a blue wash. Check out a sepia wash. So for his teeth on this side, I'm gonna be touching them up with just uh, like a little, a little kiss of gelatinous blue. All right, so the moonlight side's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a dry brush of the uh, Luftwaffe um, uh, German uniform.
just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little of this gelatinous glue. Fire side is dry. I'll try a little rust monster as a highlight for this side. We'll focus mainly around the edges. All right, so there we have the displacer beast. Um, I was gonna put. Uh, some effects around his base, but I didn't really want to take away from the effects that are already on the miniature itself. Um, so I figured since the Displacer Beast, again, just kind of going into my thoughts on the project, I figured since the Displacer Beast is a relatively straightforward creature. I mean, really resembling a, a Black Panther, I thought this was a, a nice opportunity um, to throw in some creativity and um, really give him some special effects. So we have, you know, a, a moonlight side over here. And then, of course, a firelight side over here. So you get the impression that, you know, he or she is standing over a, um, in a kind of a fiery chasm. Or maybe, um, you know, crashing a, uh, a campfire party um, or something like that, terrorizing some campers. The possibilities are endless. But as always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.